rather late, quarter past one. On Wednesday morning, let me start this going. Is it going to start? I know what you two are going to say, move my finger out of the way. It's not on very loud. This big slob over the shops, Mr. Macho, not very good on his feet, sits over there. I don't give a fuck. The lady said to him once, excuse me, do you mind? I've got children here. And uh, this lad walked past with his girlfriend. And he says, whoa, look at that. She's a cracker. Lovely little bum. And he's the lad was furious. He was furious. He says, you fucking pedo. Because the girl was quite young. And the girl was trying to drag her boyfriend away. And he came back again. Of course, then I turned up on the scooter with my neighbours on the other side. And the, there were crumbs and birdseed all over the floor. I says, God, who's chucked that down there? What a bloody mess. He says, I have. Why? What are you going to do about it? I says, call it, mate. I've told you before, I'll put you in hospital. You'll end up in hospital. I says, yeah, and you'll end up in prison. That's twice now he's threatened to put me in hospital. The second time in the presence of witnesses. I waited for him to say it once more and I'm reporting him to the police. That's threatening behaviour, isn't it? I didn't want my son Andrew to get involved. But I slipped it out when we were talking to this lady and he said, what? I said, oh God, Andrew. Right, I was asking, no, you're not, Andrew, please. He's my precious son. I don't want to see him get hurt, although this chap on the scooter, you know, he's big, Mr. Macho. I don't want Andrew to get involved. I shouldn't have mentioned it to him. But, and I take great delight in ignoring this bloke. I went in our local cafe and I sat at, near the window. And I sat at the next table to him, facing him. But immediately bowed my nose in the newspaper. So I'm not hiding from him. And I just totally ignored him. And I've been told you know, take the notice of him, he's a bloody idiot. Because once a big a youth on a motorbike, he shouldn't have drove the motorbike through the shopping precinct. And all this slob had to do was say, hey mate, you're not supposed to drive through here. Of course he got off his scooter and grabbed the lad's arm. You're not supposed to fucking drive through here. And the lad said, take your hand off my arm now. And this other chap was trying to cool things down. And this lad, if he'd have got off the scooter, I mean, if this youth had got off his motorbike, our mouth is slob would have ended up on the floor. I mean, he looks for confrontation. And as I say, he's threatened to put me in hospital twice now. And I don't want my son Andrew to get involved. I have got friends, but... Uh, I don't want it to come to violence, I'll just report him. <coughs> I'll report him to the police. If necessary, take legal action. Because being threatened like that is uh, not only antisocial, it's threatening behaviour, isn't it? He's not on the internet, he wouldn't know one end of a computer to the other. This is a chill art disc. Red Jerry. I'm not sure who it is. Very nice though, isn't it? So I think I better wash some pots. I hate washing pots. Make a cup of tea and I'm going to bed. And I should sleep well.
I don't let things bother me and keep me awake. Oh no, I can sleep on a fucking clothesline. <laughs> so I'll be in bed for two o'clock. Probably get up at eight, have a couple of slices of toast, a cup of tea, and then go back to bed again till about midday. People say, getting up at midday? I said, hey, I was up this morning while you were still snoring. But sometimes I get up at five. But then go back to bed again at six. So I can certainly sleep, and I don't know if things bother me. So we'll see what happens about him over there, but I should continue to take great pleasure in totally and absolutely ignoring him. But, as I said, one more threat, and I should, have, I should report him, and if necessary, take legal action. Well, the video's gone on for long enough, I'd like to keep them short. But so many of you people do these long videos and I can't sit over half an hour, three quarters of an hour watching them. I get bored, same as at bingo. Fucking bingo bored me to tears. I play three games straight through and I play two and I go outside for a fag. You know, because I get very easily bored and my hands aching, I'm going. Very good night to one and all. Love you all.